Kinexus introduced fishbone diagrams in our 2.5.1 release. In this video, we'll be covering what a fishbone is, how to create one, and exploring its functionality. Let's get started. A fishbone diagram, also known as an Ishikawa diagram, is a tool that is used to identify possible causes for an effect or problem. It assists with sorting ideas for causes into useful categories. In Kinexus, once Fishbone has been enabled on a template, it will be available to add from the plus sign in the top right hand corner. After selecting Fishbone, a Create Fishbone window appears. The first field allows you to input the problem that you are trying to analyze or solve with the fishbone. For this example, we'll say that our problem is that our patient no-show rates are up by 30%. The next section allows you to add up to six categories. Input each of your category names into the title field. I've now added six categories that are commonly used in a fishbone diagram. The next step is to add causes underneath each of your categories. To add an item that already exists in Kinexus as a cause, you can search in the Start Typing drop-down menu. Select the item that you'd like to add as a cause from the results, and it will be added as a cause underneath your category. To manually add a cause, you can click the plus sign, which will give you an empty cell that you can type into. We'll keep working through our example until we have multiple causes under each of our categories. Once you've finished filling out your Create Fishbone window, be sure to click Save. Once the fishbone is saved, it will be added as its own panel within your item. Items that you had linked as causes in your fishbone can be clicked on to be taken to that item. You can also right-click on any of your causes to perform a highlight or a strike through. To make edits to your fishbone, Click the pencil icon in the top right hand corner of the panel. After making your edits, be sure to click save. Actions performed on a fishbone will add to the timeline of the item. You can view those entries in the timeline panel. To delete your fishbone diagram, first click the pencil icon in the top right hand corner of the panel. Then click the delete button in the bottom right hand corner of the panel. The delete window will prompt you that the diagram will be removed from the item and any pre-existing data will be lost. After checking I understand this cannot be undone, you can delete your fishbone diagram. That wraps up this video on how to create and work through a fishbone diagram. If you're interested in what you saw today and want to take advantage of this feature, reach out to your Kinexus customer experience representative to enable it on a template. For more information, visit our support site at support.kinex.com.